Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki. Part of my Jesuit formation involved teaching in a high school for three years after I finished my philosophy studies and before I began to study theology. The wisdom behind that is to give the Jesuit seminarian a chance to get his mind out of the clouds of abstract thinking that seems to be a natural part of philosophy and to put one's feet firmly on the ground by the challenge of teaching and maintaining discipline in a classroom. My feet were firmly planted on the ground of western South Dakota and the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. I went there to teach English, and I'll always remember a veteran teacher who helped me. Her name was Sister Louise Finn, and she was a member of the Congregation of Notre Dame. She's on my mind today because this congregation was founded by the first Canadian woman to be canonized, St. Marguerite Bourgeois, whom the Church honors today. St. Marguerite was born in France, but came to the New World as a lay teacher, and over the years she'd made trips back home to recruit others. In time, a new religious congregation formed. In her 79th year, her community gathered around the bedside of the community's young director of novices who had become seriously ill. They prayed that she not die, and Marguerite added the following prayer, Oh my God, why do you not take me? I who am useless and can do nothing in this house, why not take me instead of this poor sister who can still do great things for you? It seems God answered this prayer and offer because the very next day the young sister's health improved dramatically. Within two weeks, St. Marguerite became sick with a fever and died on this day in the year 1700. Coincidence or providence? What's clear to me is that our lives are connected. And part of that connection involves our prayers for one another.